Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Play Daylight. I'm downloadable, and that right there, the thing I'm pointing at, is my PlayStation camera. So yes, this is the first video where you get to see my pasty visage. Uh, I'm also wearing one of my many bow ties. A friend of mine challenged me to wear a different one in each video. I shall try. Uh, if I fail... Nah. Anywho, Daylight. Yes, a procedural horror game where I'm imagining things will go very badly just because that's how things happen when I'm involved in horror games. Um, yeah, let's go see what kind of carnage will unfold in my direction. Definitely not perpetrated by me. It's going to be at me. I'm going to die. So I know very little about this game. I've had a look on the game info, seen some of the screenshots, and uh, it's kind of got an outlasty vibe, but rather than having a night vision camera or digital video camera thing with night vision uh, you have a phone and some glow sticks so I assume I'm probably screwed uh, let me just go on there, but, but, but no, turn that down because I imagine that will get rather annoying da -da -da, turn them up uh, yeah let's have that on okay let's go let's see what happens uh, nothing apparently Okay, I had to edit out a little piece there because it was just loading, I assume, for ages because it's procedural. Oh, but anyway. Sarah, focus. We haven't much time at all. I'll be quiet busy. while they do they this. Certainly have. Use that machine in your hand to find your way. There's much to see, much to learn. Where am I? I doubt it's they're gonna tell you. Oh, they will. This place has been waiting for your arrival. Gather up everything you can. The memories contained within these walls are waiting to be found. Oh, apparently I know this place. Must succeed. Oh no. Oh, oh, hello there. You're not doing too well. There seems to be a ten written on what is, I think, your stomach. Oh, oh. Sarah, no matter where you go, oh I got a text. Good for me. Like that. Prisoner 52 seems to be experiencing experiencing visions of shadow people. Doctors on site keep trying conventional therapies, but I believe we need to start thinking about new procedures that push what we've come up with to date. Good for you. Anyone who knows how much I like DC Universe knows that them putting Prisoner 52 will have just made the nerd inside me go eek! Oh, nice bit of... Nice bit of lag while it loaded there, that was fun. What? Dude, what's going on? Stop lagging. It's annoying. What have we got? Another note. Let's have a look. Mid-Island Penitentiary hires new head physician February 5th, 1907. Mid-Island Penitentiary has recently announced the name of its new head physician, Dr. Walter Mercer, known as a leader in both smallpox and tuberculosis research. The city of New Kipling has expressed its excitement in having such a talented and... We may a oh, passionate recruit on board and ready to do battle for the health of its citizens. Good for him. Well, good job I've got a smartphone. Probably no bars, though. So at this point I should say I don't really know what many of the controls are other than sprint. Although I assume I probably don't have my... Why are you constantly loading and lagging? What is this? Ugh. Let's have a look at the minimap. Why did you have your phone held out to look at, but then apparently looking at the map, you have to put it down and pick it back up again? Can one assume that those little blips are my uh, little notes I found? I'm going to say probably. Some stairs. I don't really want to go up there just yet. Let's explore down here. Did I see stuff? I saw Use stuff. The to find the answers. It will tell you where to look. Give me. Give me. I have too many glow sticks. You can never have too many glow sticks. Unless you're playing uh, Vanish, then any glow sticks is kind of too many because, well, not really too many. They're just feckin' useless, so. Not really much point in having them. Oh. Only that sprint as well. Well, I just found another button that makes me sprint. Yay, I can run into the arms of death much faster. I don't want to use a glow stick yet. Fine, if you'll stop Oh, good. Now they can see me coming. But apparently I'm a green lantern. So, you know, at least I shouldn't be scared. There's something there, I suppose. 
Ah! Sunbathing cow, how lovely. Good for him. We oh. are but one thread, woven from the web of life. All things connect. All things are bound. How very zen of you. Give me that. Uh, date April 4th, 1988, concerning patient 13. Run. Oh! Was that left by you, Doctor? Was that you? Should I not blink as well? I don't know. That boat isn't doing too well. What unpleasant person thought to just stop and try and paint that instead of going and help? Ugh. Oh, I tell you. Where am I going? Hmm. I seem to be. You look rather pleased with yourself. Enjoying that book? Da -da -da. Like I said, I don't really know a great deal about this. Um, I know you kind of are trapped and you have very limited resources at your disposal in the shape of glow sticks and a phone. And you can't fight back, you can only run. So it's got the whole Outlast vibe. Can I? Oh, I can go through there. Okay. Why is that glowing like that? What's this? Like Nth metal. Oh. Concerning patient 13 again. Patient, aged 10 months old, has been readmitted by her foster parents due to an. due to odd and frightening incidents that occurred shortly after she left the hospital. That sounds really ominous. Oh my god. Oh, and I matched the desk. Bonus points for accessorizing. How nice. Painting pictures on your flesh, they can smell it. Oh no, they know I've got tattoos. The snobs. Find the remnants. Remnants of what? Do I have a crouch button? I hope I have a crouch button. I do not have a crouch button. Oh. I have a put away glow stick unhelpfully button. So that's fun. It's not like I wanted to survive. Oh, hello. I don't care for that sound at all. Can I go through that door? Uh, no, let's go down here first. Because something's glowing. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't. It was just some sort of horrible visual glitch. Hypodermics, wonderful. Someone had a party. I think I've missed it. I think everyone's gone home. Anybody what? there? Don't yell, you mad bitch. If there is someone there, I don't want them to know. You fool. You may as well just be wearing a red jersey. High five for the Star Trek reference. Oh good, a big empty space. Commonly where things jump out and try and eat your face. Goody. Uh, I'm just turning myself around so much here. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Oh well. I kind of like dead ends in as much that I know not to keep going that way, but don't when I'm trying to flee from something and I get trapped. It's a horrible noise, I'm not quite sure if I heard that in-game or if that's in real life outside my window. But, oh, no, that one was in-game. Suddenly I'm terrified of those moths. Um... Well, something oh what was that? Bit late to the party, love, that was a few seconds ago. Ah, concerning patient 15 this time. Patient aged 7 has been experiencing a fear of monsters in her room at night. A night shift nurse consoled the patient by reaffirming it was only in her imagination. The patient subsequently began exhibiting uncontrollable violence towards herself and staff members. The patient has been restrained, restrained and transported to solitary confinement. And avoided this roach motel, so that's good for her, I suppose. Hmm. That seems to be a horrible underlying sort of stringy music. Not so much music, just a constant whine. Someone's punching a violinist or something, I don't know. I see something glowing in there that could either be good or very bad, so let's just go and poke it, see what happens. You can tell my approach to horror games usually means I die quite promptly, so that should be fun. History of New Kipling, once a small fishing village, New Kipling blossomed into a prosperous town full of eager and optimistic people. The town, facing overpopulation and limited resources, looked at other options to sustain its people. I'm gonna guess, uh, eating, eating newcomers. 
That'd be my guess. That would be my guess. What was that? What way did I even friggin' come from? Oh, no. And why is my phone going batshit? Oh, <laughs> what am I on? Oh, two? Fuck this. Okay, I must have to go that way. Why is that brain spinning? Why well, isn't that splendid? Hurrah! Tea and cake for all involved. I'm sure that can't be a bad thing. Random spinning brain. Am I making that noise? Oh god. What? What? What 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 Oh that's what's oh god. Okay. Yes, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Can I shut my phone up? Because I imagine that's giving my position away. What in the name of fuck? There's gotta be a key. Yeah, uh, I don't think I have time to find it. So I am about to die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Pro ah! Oh, <laughs> I just saw the top of that reflect. It thought it was a thing. Where, where's the thing trying to eat me? Give me a second. I just need to look at the controls. Uh, ba 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 ba. Do I have a uh, pickup? I don't have. Why does no one ever crouch? Fuck. Uh, throw item. Why would I want to throw item? <laughs> ah, son of a bitch! What was that? Why did everything go all jumpy? Why did it jump? Oh, hell. Oh, oh. Is there a key in there? I don't. <sighs> Uh, patient 27C, patient ex inexplicably died overnight. Body was discovered by the nurse this morning in preparation for his electroshock therapy. Body was transported to the more cremation scheduled for this evening. No kin to notify. I don't think that really matters. I'm gonna die. Cause that thing's waiting down there and I am backed into a dead end. So that's fun. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, tactics. Wait, where'd I saw this? Oh, I know what I'm doing. They were paranormal uh, experts. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sneak up. I'm gonna get her! And I'm gonna run like fuck. Oh. Don't tell me you're back again. Where are you, you absolute bitch? Where are you going? I can hear a hot. Why is that? It's like something trying to burrow into my ears. If you're looking for brains, you're gonna go hungry, fella. Shut up. I know you're there. Get a lozenge, you wailing oh bitch. God. Stop it. I really shouldn't have turned the vibration on. It's really bugging me. Every time this what's her name? I've forgotten her name already. The one I'm playing as. Cannon fodder mark one. Whenever she gets a bit Okay. No. Right. So. <laughs> I'd like to drop the dr oh, it's a fuck. No. Just no. None of that is wanted here. Stow that shit away. Zip it, lock it, put it in your p Hello. I don't remember coming this way. That looks lit down there. Or am I just going back to where I came from? I'm going back to where I came from, aren't I? I am. Search containers for useful items. Give me that. I, well, I've just backtracked, so that's good of me. But search what containers? Where? Which? Who? Other such words. Uh, give me... Yeah, I can't search that. If it turns out there's a lot more stuff I could search, I'm just going to be so pissed at myself. Well, I seem to recall I turned before. Operator, things seem to be a bit horrible here. Send help and a small contingent of marines. Okay. Well, it's flickering lights that way, so that can't be bad. Well, I could check the mini map, but you know. That would be a clever thing to do. Stumbling wildly around. Why did my controller just start? And what is that noise? Oh, there we go. Rumble. Bump. Rumbly rumble. Rumble still skin. Uh, 
Patient 12A this time. Ooh, such variation. Dr. Watkins recommended removal of all possessions from patient's room as a meaning of curing her as a means of curing her fantasies. Patient became violent during extraction. She seemed particularly fixated on an old doll and cried for days after its removal. Maybe you all should have left it the hell alone. Much like I should have probably with this institution. Asylum. I don't know. Another thingy. I see it. They've revealed the sigil. Reclaim it and bring it to the gateway. What are you on about? Adam, I think I saw that thing you were talking about the other day. I don't know what the hell it was, but it ain't a person. It just stared at me. And then it disappeared when I shined my light on it. Billy says I was seeing shadows. But I know what I saw. Something's not right down there. I'm putting in a transfer request. George. I made George sound like a complete pussy. Hang on. If I use my uh, glow sticks, will that piss that ghost off? If that's the case, then I've just been going about this the entire wrong way. I mean... Ick. Hmm. Sorry if that was a little uh, awkward... Oh, hello. I see you now. Fuck you! I've got these. I'm ready for a rave. Ah, oh, I did not mean to put it away. I meant to open that. Did I find anything? Oh, good. Use glow sticks to search deeper. Have I been missing really helpful hints this whole time? I've only just realized I could see my shoe prints with this. Hello. What is that awful music? What on earth? Okay, I... Okay, it's coming from that way, so I'm going to go that way. Shut your noise. Oh, history of New Kipling. The village of New Kipling traces its roots to the mid-1600s. The rich fishing... I can't even speak to in a city voice. The rich fishing... For fuck's sake. The rich fishing source, along with easy access to trade routes, drew early settlers to the village. Good lord, I should not have had that much difficulty saying that sentence. Shows what happens when I try to speak properly. Run, run, run. Yeah, I was right, that horrible music's coming from this way. And I can quite understand why. What the? My sentiments, exactly. Okay. Uh, is that the doll? I know it's a teddy bear, but do they mean that? The one that got removed. The, is this the key? Is the bear the key? Is the bear the key? Apparently not. Oh. What on earth? It began with infection. Did it, man? Oh, now I can't hold a glow stick. Which I think scares the ghost off for some reason. Where's my map? No, where do I get? Where do I get back? Uh. What on earth just happened? I'm busy using my map. Oh well, it doesn't really matter at all, does it? I would use my map, but apparently I just transferred to Silent Hill. Oh good. Oh, uh, jump. Stop with that, would you please? I'm directionless enough as it is. Uh, right. Map. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can I scroll? Why can I not scroll? What the hell? Uh, okay. Well, I don't know what's that way, but let's go. Well, should I just follow the screams? That seems like a good way to get back. I'm going to have to zoom in a bit because I can't tell which way I'm supposed to be facing on this damn thing. Da, 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 da. There we go. Right. Let's boogie on down. I have no idea why I said that. I can hear thumping. I don't care for the thumping. Shut up. It's rude to whisper. I know there's somebody here. Yep. 
That horrible floating ghost thing you keep repeatedly seeing. You have a pretty poor memory, my dear. I think I've gone the right way. Ah, hooray. Da, 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 da. Anybody there? I, I, I do not like that banging. Okay. I'm just going to hope that I have, like, infinite sprint. Hopefully, for once, I'm playing someone who does a lot of cardio. Yeah! Hopefully that was the right thing to do, but I've not made every spirit in, like, a ten-mile radius really, really, really inconceivably pissed at me. Well, it's saving. So oh. Goodbye, wall. Or door. Hello, wall. I swear she just kind of flicked her hand up like she was waving. Yay, glow sticks. Found a glow stick. Good for me. Attention all employees. Last night at approximately 7 p.m., the power went off to this section of the facility. Due to the unfortunate timing, we were unable to transfer a critical patient to the emergency department, and he passed away in transit in the hallway behind the records room security door. To avoid this type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has decided that non-maintenance staff should be aware that the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. Please familiarize yourself with the power switch's location within the records room stacks. Okay. How convenient that that particular letter survived all this horrible mold and mildew and degradation. Gimme. Can I crack one and then pick up a new one? I can. Good for me. Wait a minute. This doesn't seem to be working yet. Okay. What's this one say? Another one. We understand that it is difficult to make it outside on your 10 minute breaks. However, just because the records room is large and has high ceilings does not mean you can move things about and create a satellite break room for smoking. <laughs> oh dear me. We have caught several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them precariously and complaining, climbing over them to serve as a lookout. Be advised, this is not gym equipment. Climbing on crates of medical supplies will not be tolerated. don't really know why I've made it. All of the official documents read by apparently, I don't know, Albert Wesker's uncle or something. But I'm going to assume that's in a rather blunt way of telling me that I, I see you. I saw that. I heard that. I saw that. The thing. It's a squishy thing. Okay, how did that appear ahead of where I went? Not going to question it. How does it also appear when I have no feet? Anyway. Yes, I'm going to assume it's wanting me to stack up crates and uh, climb around so I can reach the breakers and such. Um, anyway. Concerning Ms. Daniels' suicide. Ms. Daniels was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indic indicating she was extremely unhappy at work and in her personal life. Personnel on site stated she died from rapid blood loss caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrist. Her body was found sitting in a wheelchair. Pending a police investigation, Ms. Daniel's body was transported to the morgue. This is eerily similar to the other, to the other instances. Uh, no thank you. And keep that. Oh God. What? What in particular? Or just all of it? You're quite whiny. If I'm saying that, you've got to be bad. Uh, yeah. Mid-Island Hospital was one of the most locally influential and medically profound places in our city's history, yet few people know how important its presence has been. From treating smallpox in the 1850s to contributing to tuberculosis research in more recent years, the hospital has done much to benefit the citizens of New Kipling. Even its, uh, even its brief, it failed. Attempt at reopening as a penitentiary helped to keep our citizens safe. Okay, well, I know it's a prison. So definite now. Kind of got a prisony vibe, rather than just a medical facility. So, I really don't want to be in a stacks. 
Really don't want to be in this deck. Well, I see a glowing thing, so that's as good a place as any to head to my doom. So let's do that then. Ah, oh, my glow stick died. Kipling citizens accused crime. 16 year old girl, I assume, allowed to live. Admits guilt. Something is condemned to hang. Evil. I'm going to guess hospital. Open to deal with spread of disease. Spread of what disease? Could you be a little clearer on that? Obviously, some sort of horrible debility. What? Stop. The. Stop! Can you fight glow sticks? Suffering. Can you fight glow sticks? And for those who would seek only solace. Well, that was. Violently unsettling. What well, ails me? The fact that I just hallucinated a ghost girl in a flaming corridor that's high on my list of priorities. Uh. Sending patient 90D. While on 90 rounds, Nurse Moriarty. <laughs> oh, that's a good start. Notice patient 90D standing in his room in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh protecting the glass. She screamed for help, and by the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood, and he was raving about faces in the dark. The patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary, where the attending physician reported he would likely lose both eyes. The patient did not seem bothered by this. Recommended transfer to Dr. Mercer's care. Why do I think Dr. Mercer's probably got something to do with it? Or is that the guy talking to me now? You know, occasionally. I don't know. I didn't pay attention to see if there was a name. There's a lot of documents. Psychiatric ward report. Patients have taken their pills and are all settled in after evening meals. I refuse to check on patient 90D after the incident. He spat blood all over her and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell. Today is my first day observing patient 90D. He seemed high strung and ready to snap. Except towards Patrice. She is oddly special to him. Well, good for Patrice. Nice to have a friend. Can I get through that way? I can. I can climb that, but can I move it? I'm going to guess that means... Yeah, there we go. Now, how long do we think it will be before I'm trying to interact with one of these things? And while it locks my cameras in a horrible view... Some unspeakable nasty thing comes to try and eat my face, because I swear I just heard scuttling. I think I heard scuttling. Good for me. Can I get down that way? Can I get back down that way? I will be stuck if I go that way. I'm fairly certain. Hmm. Oh well. Tally-ho. Click. Son of a... Should have seen that coming. What was that? Being out of the dark make you feel better? Well, it shouldn't. Well, I didn't answer because, quite frankly, it doesn't. I like that you just told me about, um... Boxes with rope can be moved. I, I kind of know. I just did that to get there. Is that to tell me I can climb this? I don't know. Well, this seems like a nice little place to hide for now. So, I'm going to end this here, um, just for the time being. I sense that this is going to become incredibly eerie and very unsettling. I mean, it's not exactly been a cakewalk so far. But anyway, I think this has got the potential to scare the living daylights <laughs> out of me. So, if you enjoyed this, pop a like down below, and I'll do some uh, more screeching at a person holding their smartphone up, which is kind of what I do when I'm out in the street anyway, when people bumble in front of me. But anyway, I'm getting off track. I shall see you in my next little ranting and raving and crying session. Thank you very much. Toodaloo.